Welcome to Wakanda. I do this lesson in memory of Chadwick Boseman, a fantastic actor. I also do this accent for him too, out of respect. I would like to show you my new weapon of math destruction. It's not just any ordinary yardstick, it's infused with vibranium. With it, I have turned it into what I call a vector. A vector has magnitude or strength or length, given that it is a yardstick. Its strength is a yard or three feet. But not only does a vector have strength, it has direction. It's very important to point your weapon of math destruction in the right direction and use it for only good, like solving integer addition problems. So, I want you to make vectors and use them to solve integer problems. Come with me. In the last lesson, we did addition of integers using chips. So I would draw four positives and I would be neat about it. And across from them, I would draw the negatives, which there are three. The are three zero pairs that cancel. And you can see the leftover is a positive one. Today, we are going to do the same thing but we're going to do it with a number line. The number line doesn't always have to have zero in the middle. I'm going to number these. I don't always have to number every single one. I can number every other one if I want to. But I want you to always start on the number line at zero. And this is when we're going to draw our arrow. Anything that is positive is to the right. So this is four. I'm going to go positive four spaces to the right, starting from zero. In this case, it points directly to the four. That is my vector that has length of four and a direction to the right. Now, the next arrow will always start where the last one ended. I like to stack them on top. With a little bit of space because neatness helps you understand what it is you have on your paper because if you can't read it you can't do it so now this is a negative three negative is to the left i don't go to negative three i make an arrow that has a length of three but goes to the left so one two three doesn't have to be a perfectly straight arrow and the arrow so this one was a length of four this one has a length of three, it's negative direction. So I just wanna note that the length of this is three. The absolute value of this, this is what absolute value looks like, is three. Absolute value is the distance something is from zero. A negative three is three units from zero. It would have the same length as a positive three arrow. The only thing it's not the same as is the direction, okay? So I started here and went right four, and then when I go back three, I find my answer of one. This is how you show the work with chips. This is how you show the work with a number line. Absolute value is a good word to, to know, good two words to know. It is the distance a number is from zero. Distance is never negative. You don't go negative mileage to school, okay? So now I'm gonna to go to the notes page and I'm gonna start on the second page and then go to the front that has the vocab. Uh, this page has uh, several examples. I'll do a few slowly with you and then you will do some on your own and check your answers. I wrote down here the definition of vector. You'll wanna underline that or highlight it so that when you go to do your um, vocabulary, you know where to find it fast. When you go to do your vocab, you always want to use your notes first because it's always faster than Googling it. 
I have already made nice, easy definitions. Google sometimes will give you hard ones. So if you were going to look at this page and ask for an example for me to do with you, which one would you ask for? In case you didn't know, teachers normally put the hard ones at the end. So I won't start off with one of those. I'll start off somewhere in the middle. I'm going to start off with number 12. Number 12 happens to be one that I drew without starting at zero. There will be times where you see problems that do that. When you do these, I always want you to start at zero. So this one didn't start at zero. It started at four and I gave you the picture. So I want you to write out the problem or the numerical equation. Equations have equal signs. So if I drew an arrow from zero, it would have just went to four. And I started at four, so that's easy. We'll start with four. And we were doing addition. I didn't teach any subtraction. That adds another layer of work. So I go to four and then I'm not, and then I go to the right, so that's positive. You don't always have to write positive signs. You can, you don't have to. How many spaces? What is the length of this arrow? This is two spaces, so I'm gonna add the number two. Remember, we're putting down the length of the arrow or the magnitude. We're not putting down what it points to. Okay, the next arrow started here at six and went left. So it means I'm adding a negative number. And now we gotta count the spaces. Don't count the lines, count the spaces. That went back eight. That's my cool bracelet. And it ends at the answer. The answer is pointing to the answer, pointing to the answer, negative two. We could have done that problem with chips as well, but today we're practicing number lines. So we have more than one tool. You pick which tool you like better, chips or number line. All right, let's do another one together. How about number 15? Number 15, now you kind of don't know where to begin, but wait, I always started at zero. I started at zero in which direction did I go? I went to the left, that makes this negative, and it went left seven spaces. So it's a negative seven, and then from there it went how many, it went to the right, so it's positive. Three spaces. And it's really helpful to put the uh, number right on top of the arrow. And then from here it goes one, two more spaces, until you end up with an answer of, I'll just put the answer down here because I'm running out of room, negative two. Hey, remember I said zero doesn't always have to be in the middle of my number line picture. Zero is always in between the positive and the negatives, but we did all our work on the negative side of this number line. No big deal. Just left is negative and anytime we go to the right is positive. Always start to finish, start to finish, start to finish. And it finishes at negative two. Now, um, uh, should I do one more? Uh, no, I'm gonna have you guys do the rest of these. Um, all right, I'll do one more. I'll do number eight at the beginning. How many, this is going which way? For how many spaces? And then from here it goes which way? For how many spaces? So this problem is, and the answer you can see is, okay? Now I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna show you the answers. I want you to look them over and if you have any questions, you message me or ask me in class. Four plus two plus three is nine for number nine. Number 10, nine and negative four is five. Nine plus negative four equals five. Number 11, four plus negative two equals two. Number 12 we did. Number 13, a negative four and a negative five is a negative nine. 
number 14. Negative 4 and 3 is negative 1. Number 15 we did already. Number 16, negative 7 and 5 plus another negative 7 is a negative 9. And the last one didn't start at 0, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, look for the first beginning of an arrow. It started at negative 5 and then added 3, added 7, and a negative 8, and it equals negative 3. On the other side, we have definitions. What happens when you owe somebody money? What happens when you lose points in a game? What happens when you can't afford to buy something, but you somehow buy it anyway? These numbers are what? Yep, negative. The positive and negative whole numbers are called integers. This is a very important word. You're gonna see this come up very often. When you get to high school, they're gonna give you word problems and they're gonna say, make sure to give me an integer answer. So that means they don't want any decimals. So you have to give a positive or negative whole number. And a lot of students get hung up on that. That's why we do vocab assignments. So I wanna go over some uh, shortcuts to addition or sum problems. I wanna know what the sum of this longer problem is. But before I do, I wanna look for a shortcut. So I wanna think, can you think of a way to rearrange the numbers so that you can add them faster? You should have in elementary school learned to do things in groups of 10. We are in a base 10 number system. There were other number systems that didn't count by tens. We count by tens, we put it in a group, we move to the next place value. So let's look for tens. What would you have to add with the three to make 10? There it is. Would you have to add with the five? There it is. How about a six? Well, look at that. We did the three with the seven as a group, and then we did the five with the five, and then we did the six with the four. So I can add a lot faster. I see one, two, three groups of 10. When you are changing the order of something for addition, it's totally cool because a three plus a seven is the same as a seven plus a three. That's called commutative property. And then when I decide to group them and do answers for each group, I'm grouping things differently. That's called associative property. If you're part of an association, you're part of a group. So these are also important properties for you to know and important vocab for you to learn. So why don't you check out number two and see what you can find for groups of 10. So if I see a six, I'm gonna look for a four. Do you see a four? No, let's move on. So there's a seven, I would need a three. I see that. Uh, if I see a nine, I would need a, that's right. A one, uh, if I have a five, I would need another five. Mm, I kind of have that. So here's a five and then here's a five. Did you see that? I definitely see a 10 over here. Uh, is there a one to go with this nine? No, three would go with seven. No, I don't see that either. So I did seven. Oh, see this? I touched this three twice. I can't do that. That's a mistake. But there was another three here. So I got the three with the seven. I got this three, two, and five together. Sorry about that. And then what else? We have what else do we have left? We have a six and a fifteen and a nine that I didn't that I didn't touch. Check this out. I still want to do groups of ten. So how about I break this six down? 
so that I can add it with the 9 and make a group of 10. So what would I add with 9? I would add a 1. So that would make how much left over here in the 6? That would make a 5, correct? I just changed the 6 into 5 plus 1. These are creative ways of looking at problems using properties. So I, I used the 1 and the 9, but I still have the 15 and the 5, which add nicely to make 20. So let's look at our groups. I got 1, 2, 3, 4 groups of 10 there. That's the 5th group of 10, 6th, 7th group of 10 for a 70. That is some elementary school review right there. Groups of 10. Faster way of adding. Okay, let's get used to using some words because we're going to be doing word problems. That's when it starts to get a little more challenging. What's the opposite of going up three feet? And if you write it as an integer, it'd be negative three, down three. What is the opposite of going right four blocks? It's right, left four, or negative four. What is the opposite of earning $10? That would be spending $10. That would be taking out of your bank account or your pocket. So it's negative. What is the opposite of a decrease in height of 100 feet? That would be an increase of 100, which would be positive. You can write the positive sign or not. You don't have to write positives, but you always have to write the negative sign when you have a negative. What happens when you add opposites? Like 3 and negative 3, 4 and negative 4, 2 and negative 2, every single time comes out 0. We call them 0 pairs or we call them additive inverses, which is another vocab term for you to highlight. The additive inverse property says that when you add any number with its opposite, it will sum to 0. Using properties make things easier for you and so could using chips or number line. Don't forget, negative goes to the left and positive goes to the right. Have a good day.